G'day guys, welcome back to 32 Builds. In this episode of the Datsun build, I continue to attack the rust at the front of the car. It's been a while since my last video, but that's because I've been having the biggest headache trying to learn how to weld. But more on that later on in the video. I still have no idea how this corner of the car is constructed, and it's no help that it's turned into a heap of rust. To start off, I'll mark out the parts of the area that I need to cut out, and start thinking of how I'm going to replace them. After transferring the shape to a piece of cardboard, I then mark it out on some 1mm sheet metal. Using an angle grinder, I chop out the shape, then use a vise and a hammer to form it. I could really use a shrinker stretcher, but I'll make do with massaging things for the time being. Now back to dismantling this corner. Rust is like an onion, they have layers. Well not really, but in this case I'm going to slowly peel back the layers to figure out what is going on in here. So this is where we're at. The rust in this spot is pretty much cut out and I now know what I have to make. I just have to cut out one more piece.
I can't really get inside the A-pillar, but for now I'll deal with the exposed metal before sealing it up. I apply rust converter, leave it for a while, give it a spray with parts cleaner, and then seal it in primer. One day I do want to acid dip the whole shell, but that's probably a long time in the future. I really enjoy making these replacement bits. It's a bit like metal Lego. The next part though, got me thoroughly frustrated, the welding. I didn't expect it to be easy, but I didn't think it would have been this hard for me to figure it out. I eventually did get the piece on, but it was days and days of blowing holes, research, tweaking, and more blow-throughs. I've welded before in the past, but never butt joint thin sheet. I learned a lot about welding in those two weeks, but let me know if you'd be interested in hearing about the learning process in a dedicated video. To summarize, I started out with flux core MIG welding. I was finding it near impossible for this application, and eventually switched to gas shielded MIG with 0.6mm wire. This straightaway gave me way more range to play with for my settings. On top of that, I think this machine is about 20 years old and it hasn't been used in quite a while. There are a couple fixes I had to do to make it weld consistently. So double checking behind the weld, I was able to achieve decent penetration, but they were still ugly AF. Chomping through my flapper wheels. Hopefully it doesn't go rusting on me too quick now, I did forget to weld on the lower edge of that last piece, but I'm gonna have to leave it for next episode. In the next episode, I'll fix some of those pinholes, slather the whole thing in seam sealer, and then I need to work on that side support piece I removed in the last episode. I've opened a dedicated Instagram and Facebook page now, so be sure to check them out in the links. Over there, I'll be posting progress photos in between videos. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.